Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about ratio increase. What is to increase? To increase basically means to move from a lower level to a higher level. Like for example, if in midterm exam you attend 300 marks and end term exam you get 400 marks. So we can say now your marks has increased from 300 to 400. That is increment. We can express your marks as a ratio. That is, initially they were 300 and now they are 400 after end of term exam. If you want to express this one as a ratio increase, we begin with the current one. This is the current, this is the old one. So these are before increase and these are after increase. So we begin with the current one, which is increase, is to old one, which is 300. After that now, we simplify our ratio. We are looking for a common divisor. Like 100 is a common divisor for the two numbers. Zeros, they go. And our increased ratio is 4 is to 3. Now, for instance, given the following ratios, will you be able to know which one is increased ratio and which one is not increased ratio? Let us now learn how to identify increased ratio. This is the current. This is the old. This is the current old. So, 5 when you compare to 4, this shows the current one is increased because the old one is small. So it means we moved from a lower level to higher level of 5, from 4 to 5. Our first question there is a ratio increase. If you look at 2, which is the current one, and 3, the old one, you realize that the current one is smaller than the old one. So therefore, here, there is no increment. So this one, it can't be ratio increase. This is ratio decrease. Let's come to C. 7 is to 15. Our current ratio is there. Our current number is there. The old one is there. So if you compare 7 and 15, 7 being the current one, it's smaller than the old one. Therefore here, there is no increment. Let's compare 8 and 5. Our current it's 8. Our old one is 5. So 8 and 5, 8 is bigger than 5, meaning 5 is smaller than 8. So we are moving from small to a bigger number. And therefore, D, there is increment. So the ratio that shows ratio increment or ratio increase is A and D. Now let's proceed and it work out our first example. We are being told increase this that 6 in the ratio 9 is to 4. So what is this that is 6? We are increasing this that 6, meaning this is our lower number. We want to make it go higher to 9. Therefore, according to the ratio, this that 6 is equivalent to 4, which is the old one. We are looking for the current. We are given the old one. So the old one is 4. Therefore, this that 6 is equals to so we say if our 4 is equal to 36. So this is the old and this is the old that we want to make it go higher. So what about 9 which is the current will be what? Our x is there. Our question mark is there. So we cross multiply. 4x is equal to 36 times 9. We can get our x here by dividing both sides by 4. So by 4, 1, by 4, 9. 9 times 9 is 81. And as you can see, our number has increased from that 6 to 81. Let's work out part B, whereby we are told increase 44 kgs in the ratio 15 is to 11. So if you look to our ratio, 15 is the current one. 11 is the old one or the original. So we say if 11 is equal to 44, 
what about our current one? What we're looking for will be what? So that's why we have our x there where we have the quotient mark. We cross multiply. 11x is equals to 44 times 15. We want our x. So we do our way with our 11 there. What we have done on our left, we also do it on the right. So by 11, 1. By 11, 4. 15 times 4 is 60. Therefore, our new mass, after increasing according to this ratio, it's 60. As you can see, initially it was 44, and now it has become 60. Therefore, we can see an increment there. Now, let us do example 2, which is a word problem. We are given a photograph measures 7 centimeters by 5 centimeters. So, meaning that that kind of a photograph, it's in a rectangle in shape. Our length here is 7 centimeters and our width is 5 centimeters. So we are being told that if the photograph is enlarged so that the longer side measures 14. According to our photograph here, which is a rectangle in shape, the length is 7. So this 7 has been enlarged and become 14. The question is, what does the shorter side become? So if this 7 has become 14, what about 5 is going to be what? That's our question. So you're cross multiplying. 7x is equals to 5 times 14. We want our x, so we divide both sides by 7. By 7, 1. By 7, 1. By 7, 2. So our x is equals to 5 times 2, which is 10. Therefore, our new width after enlargement is 10. Remember, this one was 14. Now, so we have answered our first question. What does the shorter side become? So the shorter side becomes 10 centimeters. Now, let's proceed to part B of the same question. What is the area of the enlarged photograph? Our length is 14 and our new width after enlargement, in other words, the, the word enlargement is increase. So after an increase, our new width is 10 centimeters. Therefore, let's get the area of the increased photograph or enlarged photograph. Area of a rectangle is length times width. Therefore, it's 14 times 10, which is 140 centimeters squared. Now, let's answer part C of the same question. In which ratio is the area increased? Meaning, if the photograph size has been increased, definitely also the area has changed. So, for us to get the increased ratio, we need to get the original area before the increase. Remember, before the increase, our rectangle measured measured 7 by 5 centimeters. Therefore, the original area is 7 times 5, which is 35 centimeters squared. Remember, after increase, the length became 14 and the width became 10 centimeters. Therefore, our new area after the increase shall be 14 times 10, which is 140 centimeters squared. To answer our question, in which ratio is the area increased? Our new ratio increase shall be the current, which is 140, is to the old one, which is 35. This is our area ratio increase. So now we need to simplify our ratio. We can say by 7. Because 7 is a common divisor between 140 and 35. So by 7, 1, by 7, it's 20. By 7, 1, by 7, 5. So we have 20 is to 5. We still have a common divisor, which is 5. By 5, and by 5, by 5, 1, by 5, 4, by 5, 1, by 5, 1. And therefore, our area ratio increase is... 4 is to 1. I wish you the best and I request you to subscribe and leave a comment. Practice, practice, practice.
practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.